Introduction Sharmila, in a few words define an animal. Yes, animals are a major group of mostly multicellular eukaryotic organisms of kingdom Animalia or Metazoa. Sharmila, now tell me what makes animals different from plants? Yes, plants are multicellular, terrestrial, non-mobile, photosynthetic and autotrophic. While animals are mobile, heterotrophic, multicellular and aquatic, terrestrial or arboreal. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define what animals are Know about various types of animals Understand various characteristics of animal kingdom Know about various level of organization Understand body symmetry Understand diploblastic and triploblastic organization Know about silom Understand segmentation Understand Notochord Know about various division of animal kingdom Understand various characteristics of invertebrates Identify different characteristics of porifera Understand various characteristics of coelentrata Identify different characters of tenophora Animal kingdom Animal kingdom includes only multicellular eukaryotes. Whales and giant squids are macroscopic and multicellular animals. The important groups represented by the kingdom are protozoa, sponges, colantrates, worms, annelids, arthropods, mollusks, fishes, amphibians, reptile, birds, and mammals. The body plan of animals eventually becomes fixed as they develop, although some undergo a process of metamorphosis later on in their life. Most animals are motile, meaning they can move spontaneously and independently. All animals are also heterotrophs, meaning they must ingest other organisms for sustenance. The animal kingdom is classified on the basis of following features. Arrangement of cells Body symmetry Nature of coelom Pattern of digestive system Pattern of circulatory system Pattern of reproductive system Level of organization all members of Animalia are multicellular. All of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells. Examples In sponges, the cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates. That is, they exhibit cellular level of organization. In colantrates, the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues. Hence, is called tissue level of organization. In platy helminthus, tissues are grouped together to form organs, each specialized for a particular function. It is called organ level of organization. In animals like annelids, arthropods, mollusks, echinoderms and caudates, organs have associated to form functional systems. Each system is concerned with a specific physiological function. This pattern is called organ system level of organization. Organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns of complexities. A complete digestive system has two openings, mouth and anus. For example, the digestive system in Platy helminthus has only a single opening to the outside of the body that serves as both mouth and anus and is hence called incomplete. The circulatory system may be of two types, open type 
in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cells and tissues are directly bathed in it. Close type in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameters that is arteries, veins and capillaries. Symmetry Animals are categorized on the basis of their symmetry. They are asymmetrical, radially symmetrical, bilaterally symmetrical. Let us know them one by one. Sponges Sponges are mostly asymmetrical. That is, any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves. When any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves, it is called radial symmetry. Colentrates, cytanophores and echinoderms have this kind of body plan. Animals like annelids, arthropods, etc., where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane, exhibit bilateral symmetry. Diploblastic and triploblastic organization Animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers, an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm are called diploblastic animals. Example, colentrates. An undifferentiated layer, mesoglia, is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm. Those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer, mesoderm, in between the ectoderm and endoderm are called triploblastic animals. Example, platy helminthus to caudates. Silom in classification presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important. The body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called silom. Animals possessing silom are called silomate. Example, annelids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, hemicordates and caudates. In some animals, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm. Instead, the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Such a body cavity is called pseudocelom and the animals possessing them are called pseudocelomates. Example, Ascalaminthus. The animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acelomates. Example, Platyhelminthus. Segmentation. In some animals, the body is externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least some organs. In earthworm, the body shows this pattern called metameric segmentation and the phenomena is known as metamerism. Notochord Notochord is a mesodermally derived rod-like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Animals with notochord are called chordates. Example, urochordata, cephalochordata and vertebrata. Animals which do not form notochord are called non-chordate. Example, porifera to echinoderms. They obtain food from outside source. They swallow their food and they digest food inside the body. Division of Animal Kingdom The animal kingdom is divided in two major divisions. Invertebrates, vertebrates. Invertebrates, animals that do not have backbone. Vertebrates, animals which have backbone. The animal kingdom is broadly classified based on common fundamental features as given in the image. The animal kingdom is divided into nine phylum. Porifera, Colentrata, Platyhelminthus, Ascalaminthus, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, 
Echinodermata, Cardata, Invertebrates. As we have already said, invertebrates are animals that do not have backbones. An exoskeleton is a hard outer covering that protects an animal's body and gives it support. Insects and some other invertebrates have exoskeletons. 97% of the animal kingdom is made up of invertebrates. Some can be found in ponds, oceans and other water environments. There are six groups of invertebrates. They are Porifera Example, sponges Colentrata Example, snideria Cetanophora Sea walnuts Platyhelminthus Example, flatworms Ascalaminthus Example, roundworms Analida Example, segmented worms Porifera Porifera means having pores. Members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free-swimming, radially symmetrical, sac-like animals. They are mostly asymmetrical animals and generally marine. They look plant-like. They are fixed at one place. These are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization. Sponges have a water transport or canal system. Water enters through minute pores known as ostia in the body wall into a central cavity, spongocoil, from where it goes out through the osculum. This pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering, respiratory exchange and removal of waste. Coanocytes or collar cells line the spongocoil and the canals. Digestion is intracellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules and spongin fibers. Sexes are hermaphrodite, that is, eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual. Sponges reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gametes. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect, having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult. Colentrata The name Snideria is derived from the cnidoblasts or cnidocytes. These cnidoblasts have the stinging capsules or nematocytes present on the tentacles and the body. Cnidoblasts are used for anchorage, defense and for capture of prey. Snidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening, hypostome. Some colon traits like corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Snidarians exhibit two basic body forms called polyp and medusa. The former is a sessile and cylindrical form-like hydra, adamsia, etc. Whereas the latter is umbrella-shaped and free-swimming like aurelia or jellyfish. Those cynodarians which exist in both forms exhibit alteration of generation. Example, metagenesis, that is, polyps produce medusae asexually and medusae form the polyps sexually. For example, oblia. Examples, Physalia, also known as Portuguese man of war. Adamsia, also known as sea anemone. Penetula, also known as sea pen. Gorgonia, also known as sea fan. Mindrina, also known as brain coral. Cetanophora. Cetanophores, commonly known as sea walnuts or calm jellies, are exclusively marine, radially symmetrical, diploblastic organisms with tissue level of organization. The body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates which help in locomotion. 
digestion is both extracellular and intracellular bioluminescence the property of a living organism to emit light is well marked in cytanophores sexes are not separate reproduction takes place only by sexual means fertilization is external with indirect development example pleurobrachia and cytanoplana did you know h w wilson in 1907 discovered high power of regeneration in sponges robert grant coined the term porifera lucart gave the term colentrata colentrates are commonly called nidarians due to presence nidoblast summary let us summarize what we have learned the basic fundamental features such as level of organization symmetry cell organization coelom segmentation notochord etc have enabled us to broadly classify the animal kingdom there are many other distinctive characters which are specific for each phyla or class animals or organisms floating on the surface of water are known as plankton besides annelida and arthropoda metamerism is found in chordata on the basis of organization animals are grouped into protozoa and metazoa animals having well marked digestive cavity are included under entrozoa a true coelom is absent in phylum platyhelminthes and nematoda true coelom appeared first in the course of evolution in annelida true coelom is covered by mesoderm the term for body cavity present in triploblastic animals is coelom coelom derived from blastocoel is known as pseudo coelom animal group with pseudo coelom is ascalaminthes coelom is cavity between ectoderm and endoderm that is elementary canal and body wall enclosed by mesoderm on both sides coelom produced by splitting of mesoderm is schizocoel hemocoel occurs in arthropoda an entrocolomate invertebrate group is echinodermata colomate animal where blastopod develops into anus is deuterostomate radial symmetry occurs in colentrata and echinodermata radial symmetry is often exhibited by animals having benthos or sedentary nature metamerism is characteristic of annelida porifera includes multicellular animals which exhibit cellular level of organization and have characteristic flagellated kenocytes sponges are diploblastic and devoid of respiratory excretory circulatory organs and nerve cells canal system is found in sponges a common chamber for all the canals of spongy is paragastric cavity the simplest type of canal system in porifera is ascon type the middle layer in body wall of porifera is called mesoglea classification of porifera is based on spicules the colentrates have tentacles and bear snidoblast they are mostly aquatic sessile and free floating nematocyst takes part in locomotion offense and defense and capturing of food they are activated by touch poisonous fluid present in nematocyst is hypnotoxin in nematocyst in hydra ejection occurs in response to contact and pierces the prey introduction shamila in our last discussion we studied definition of animals types of animals characteristics of animal kingdom various levels of organization body symmetry diploblastic and triploblastic organization coelom segmentation notochord division of animal kingdom characteristics of invertebrates 
characters of Porifera, Silentoretta and Tenophora. Yes, now we are going to discuss characteristics of Platyhelminthes, Asclemynthes, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca and Echinodermata. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Understand various characteristics of Platy Helminthus, Ascalaminthus, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca and Echinodermata. Platy Helminthus Platy Helminthus have dorsoventrally flattened body, hence are called flatworms. Platy Helminthus are mostly endoparasites found in animals including human beings. Flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and acylomate animals with organ level of organization. Hooks and circles are present in the parasitic forms. Specialized cells called flame cells help in osmoregulation and excretion. Sexes are not separate. Fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages. Some members like planaria possesses high regeneration capacity. Example, tenia, that is tapeworm, fasciola, that is liver fluke. Ascalaminthus The body of the ascalaminthus is circular in cross-section, hence the name Roundworms, as Calaminthus may be free-living, aquatic and terrestrial or parasitic in plants and animals. As Calaminthus are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and pseudo-solomate animal. Roundworms have organ system level of body organization. Elementary canal is complete with a well-developed muscular pharynx. An excretory tube removes body waste from the body cavity through the excretory pore. Sexes are separate or dioecious, that is, males and females are distinct. Often females are longer than males. Example, Ascaris, that is, roundworm, Eucheraria, that is, filaria worm, and Silostoma, that is, hookworm. Annelida Annelids may be aquatic, that is, marine and freshwater or terrestrial, free-living and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry. Annelids are triploblastic, metamerically segmented and solomate animals. Their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metamers, which is a Latin word meaning annulus little ring and hence the phylum name Annelida. They possess longitudinal and circular muscles which help in locomotion. A closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia The singular for nephridia is nephridium, help in osmoregulation and excretion. Neural system consists of paired ganglia. The singular of ganglia is ganglion, connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. Neuris an aquatic form is dioecious, but earthworms and leeches are monoecious. Reproduction is sexual. Example, Neris, Ferratima, that is, earthworm, and Herodinaria, that is, blood-sucking leech. Arthropoda Arthropoda makes up 75% of the animal kingdom. Arthros means joint. Poda means appendages. The largest groups of arthropods are insects. They are the only invertebrates that can fly. They have organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, segmented and solomates. The body consists of head, thorax and abdomen. Arthropods have hard external body, segmented body and jointed legs. Respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs or tracheal system. Circulatory system is of open type. 
sensory organs like antennae, eyes, that is compound and simple, statocyst or balance organs are present. Excretion takes place through Melphigian tubules. They are mostly dioecious. Fertilization is usually internal. They are mostly oviparous. Development may be direct or indirect. Spiders have jointed legs, eight legs, jaws and fangs. Centipedes uses its many legs to run from enemies. Millipedes roll up their bodies when they sense danger approaching. Economically important insects. Apis, that is honeybee. Bombyx, that is silkworm. And lecipher, that is lac insect. Vectors, anophilus, culex and aedes mosquitoes. Gregarious pest, locusta, that is locust. Living fossil, that is lumulus or king crab. Examples, beetle, millipede, centipede, spider, crab. Mollusca Mollusca is the second largest animal phylum. Mollusks are terrestrial or aquatic, marine or freshwater, having an organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and colomate animals. Body is covered by a calcareous shell and is unsegmented with a distinct head, muscular foot and viscural hump. A clam has two shells joined together by a hinge. Only a few do not have shells. Squids and octopuses are also mollusks. Their hard shells are small, but they are inside their bodies. Example, octopus and sea slug. A soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the viscural hump. The space between the hump and the mantle is called the mantle cavity in which feather-like gills are present. They have respiratory and excretory functions. The anterior head region has sensory tentacles. The mouth contains a file-like rasping organ for feeding called radula. Examples, snail and sea scallop, octopus and sea slug. Echinodermata Echinodermata have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and hence the name echinodermata which means spiny skin or spiny bodied. All echinodermates are marine with organ system level of organization. The adult echinodermates are radially symmetrical but larva are bilaterally symmetrical. They are triploblastic and coelomate animals. It belongs to a group of invertebrates that have tiny tube feet and body parts arranged around a central area. A starfish has five arms and no head. The hard spiny covering of the starfish gives the animal protection. A sea urchin belongs to the same group. Its body is covered with spines. Digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower ventral side and anus on the upper dorsal side. The most distinctive feature is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion, capture and transport of food and respiration. An excretory system is absent. Sexes are separate. Reproduction is sexual. Fertilization is usually external. Development is indirect with free swimming larva. Examples Asterius, that is starfish, Echinus, that is sea urchin, Antidon, sea lily, Cucumeria, sea cucumber, and Ophiura, brittle star. Did you know? Gorgon Bohr coined the term Platai Helminthus in 1859. Lamarck coined the term Annelida in 1809. Jay Clean coined the term Echinodermata. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The Platai Helminthus have flat body and exhibit bilateral symmetry. As Calaminthus are pseudocilomates 
and include parasitic as well as non-parasitic round worms. Annelids are bilaterally symmetrical and have closed circulatory system. Earthworms, Neris, Hirudinaria, sea mouse and leech belongs to Annelida. Earthworm is metamerically segmented. Earthworm has tube within tube plan. The arthropods are the most abundant group of animals characterized by the presence of metameric segmentation, exoskeleton and jointed appendages. Largest number of species occurs in the class Insecta of phylum Arthropoda. Fly, mosquito and cockroach belong to class Insecta. In Insecta group, the body is divisible into head, thorax and abdomen. They have three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. Filaria, malaria, dengue, sleeping sickness and yellow fever are caused due to insects. The mollusks have a soft body surrounded by an external calcareous shell. The body is covered with external skeleton made of chitin. Mollusca are differentiated from others by mantle and non-segmented body. A loose mantle is present over the body in mollusks. The echinoderms possess a spiny skin and are marine. Their most distinctive feature is the presence of water vascular system. Echinodermata have unsegmented coelom, superficial radial symmetry in adult and bilateral symmetry in lava. They also have oral and aboral surfaces. Introduction Sharmila, in our last discussion we studied Characteristics of Platyhelminthes, Asclementhes, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca and Echinodermata. Yes, now we are going to discuss characteristics of hemichordates, chordates, vertebrates, cyclostoma, chondrich thighs, ostrich thighs, amphibians, reptilia, aves and mammalia. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Understand various characteristics of hemichordates, chordates, vertebrates, cyclostomata, chondrichites, osteichites, amphibians, reptilia, aves and mammalia. Hemichordata Hemichordata consists of a small group of worm-like marine animals with organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and coelomate animals. Body is cylindrical and is composed of an interior proboscis, a collar and a long trunk. Their circulatory system is of open type. They respire through gills. Their excretory organ is proboscis gland. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. Development is indirect in them. Examples Balanoglossus and Sacoglossus. Chordates Animals belonging to phylum Chordata are characterized by the presence of notochord, a dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits. They are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate with organ system level of organization. They possess a post-anal tail and are closed circulatory system. Phylum chordata is divided into three subphyla, urochordata, cephalochordata, vertebrata. In subphyla urochordata, notochord is present only in larval tail. Example, acedia, salpa, doliolum, in cephalochordata, it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life. Example, branchiostoma, amphiosus and lancelet. Vertebrate The members of vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period. The notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult. Thus, 
all vertebrates are chordates, but all chordates are not vertebrates. Vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two, three, or four chambers, kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation, and paired appendages which may be fins or limbs. Examples Fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Cyclostomata All living members of the class Cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes. They have an elongated body bearing 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration. Cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws. Their body is devoid of scales and paired fins. Cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous. Circulation is of closed type. Cyclostomes are marine but migrate for spawning to fresh water. After spawning, within a few days they die. Their larvae after metamorphosis return to the ocean. Example Petromyzon, Lamprey and Mygene, Hackfish. Chondric thighs Chondric thighs are marine animals with streamlined body and have cartilaginous endoskeleton. They are cold-blooded animals, that is, they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature. Notochord is persistent throughout life. Mouth is located ventrally. Teeth are modified placoid scales, which are backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful. These animals are predaceous. Gill slits are separate and without operculum or gill cover. Their skin is tough, containing minute placoid scales. Due to the absence of air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. Heart is two-chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. Some of them have electric organs, torpedo, and some possess poison sting, trigon. Sexes are separate. In males, pelvic fins bear claspers. They have internal fertilization and many of them are viviparous. Example, scoliodon, dogfish, pristis, sawfish, carcharodon, great white shark, trigon, stingray. Osteic thighs. Osteic thighs includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton, streamlined body, mouth is mostly terminal. They are cold-blooded animals. They have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum on each side. Skin is covered with cycloid, stenoid scales. Air bladder is present which regulates buoyancy. Heart is two-chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. Fertilization is usually external. Sexes are separate. They are mostly oviparous and development is direct. Examples, marine, exocetus, flying fish, hippocampus, seahorse, freshwater, labio, rohu, catla, clarias, magur, Aquarium, Beta, Fighting Fish, Terophyllum, Angel Fish. Amphibians Amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats. Most of them have two pairs of limbs. Body is divisible into head and trunk. Tail may be present in some. The amphibian skin is moist and is without scales. These are poikilothermous, that is, cold-blooded animals. The eyes have eyelids. A tympanum represents the ear. Elementary canal, urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca, which opens to the exterior. Young amphibians breathe through gills like fish. Adult amphibians breathe air from lungs and skin. The heart is three-chambered, two auricles and one ventricle. 
Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. They are oviparous and development is direct or indirect. Examples Bufo, Toad, Rana, Frog, Hyla, Tree Frog, Salamandra, Salamander, Ichthyophis, Limbless Amphibia. Reptilia Reptiles refer to their creeping or crawling mode of locomotion. Reptiles can move at various speeds. They live in hot, dry deserts and in warm, wet, tropical rainforest. They are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and cornified skin. Epidermal scales are scutes. Reptiles are poikilothermous or cold-blooded animals. Snakes and lizards shed their scales as skin cast. Reptiles do not have external ear openings. Tympanum represents ear. Limbs, when present, are two pairs. Heart is usually three-chambered, but four-chambered in crocodiles. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and development is direct. Examples Shalon, Turtle, Testudo, Turtoise, Chameleon, Tree Lizard, Calotis, Garden Lizard, Crocodilus, Crocodile, Alligator, Alligator, Hemidectylus, Wall Lizard, Poisonous Snakes, Naja, Cobra, Bangarus, Crate, Vipra, Viper. Aves There are about 9,000 types of birds. Birds are vertebrates that have wings and they are covered with feathers. They are homeothermous or warm-blooded. The bird's skeleton is very light in weight. This helps them to fly except flightless birds. Example, ostrich. They are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and cornified skin. Epidermal scales or scuts. Skin is dry without glands except the oil gland at the base of the tail. Endoskeleton is fully ossified, that is bony, and the long bones are hollow with air cavities, pneumatic. The forelimbs are modified into wings. The hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming, or clasping the tree branches. The digestive tract of birds has additional chambers, the crop and gizzard. Heart is completely four-chambered. Respiration is by lungs. Air sacs connected to the lungs supplement respiration. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and development is direct. Birds lay hard-shelled eggs that hatch in their nest. Examples Corvus Crow Columba, Pigeon, Cytacula, Parrot, Truthio, Ostrich, Pavo, Peacock, Aptinodites, Penguin, Neophron, Vulture. Mammalia They have milk-producing mammary glands by which the young ones are nourished. They are homeothermous, that is, they are warm-blooded. They have two pairs of limbs. Adapted for walking, running, climbing, burrowing, flying or swimming. The skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair. The hair keep the animals warm. Humans are mammals, but animals have more hair than we do. External ears or pinnae are present. Different types of teeth are present in the jaw. Heart is four-chambered. Respiration is by lungs. Sexes are separate and fertilization is internal. They are VV Paris with few exceptions and development is direct. Examples VV Paris, Macropus, Kangaroo, Teropus, Flying Fox, Camelus, Camel, Macaca, Monkey, Ratus, Rat, Canis, Dog, Felis, Cat, Elephus, Elephant, Equus, Horse, Delphinus, Common Dolphin, Belenoptera, Blue Whale, Panthera Tigris, Tiger, Panthera Leo, Lion. 
Did you know? Branch of biology dealing with the study of birds is ornithology. Ostrich, penguin, emu and kiwi are flightless birds. Largest bird is ostrich which also have largest egg. Poikilotherms are also known as ectotherms. Animals having a built-in thermostat to maintain constant body temperature are called homothermic. Fish which eradicates mosquito larva is gambusia. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. The hemichordate are a small group of worm-like marine animals. They have cylindrical body with proboscis, collar and trunk. Phylum chordata includes animals which possess a notochord either throughout or during early embryonic life. The chordates are the dorsal hollow nerve cord and have paired pharyngeal gill slits, post anal tail. Vertebrates have dorsal tubular nerve cord, skull, ventrally situated heart and body cavity with elementary canal. Some of the vertebrates do not possess jaw, agenetha, whereas most of them possess jaw, gnathostomata. Classes Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves and Mammalia have two pairs of limbs and are thus grouped under Tetrapoda. The amphibians have adapted to live both on land and water. Amphibians' heart is three-chambered. Mesonephric kidney. Exoskeleton is absent. Largest RBCs are seen in them. Skin is moist and has thick scales. Reptiles are characterized by the presence of dry and cornified skin. Limbs are absent in snakes. Fishes, amphibians and reptiles are poikilothermous, that is, cold-blooded. Reptiles are cold-blooded which means they have no regulatory system of body temperature. Aves are warm-blooded animals with feathers on their bodies and four limbs modified into wings for flying. Four-chambered heart is found in birds. The unique features of mammals are the presence of seven cervical vertebrae, diaphragm, mammary glands and hairs on the skin. Heart is four-chambered. Mammary glands are modified sweat glands. Pinna or external ear is found in mammals.